Hi, this is saying Today I would like to share this challenge question. According to question, a circle inscribed inside a square of side length 20 cm, a quarter circle of radius 20 cm is drawn with the vertex of the square as its center. Determine the area of the shaded region. If we make a straight line, we realize that this is actually a segment of this quarter circle and this is a segment of this green circle which means that we just have to take the area of the segment of the green circle minus the area of the segment of the red circle and hence we will able to obtain the shaded region recall the area of a segment we have area of segment is equal to 1 over 2 r squared times theta minus sine theta. r is the radius of the circle and theta is the associated angle of the sector in radian measure. So what we have to do here is to form sector since we need sector. So we just have to connect the points to the center of the circle and we will hence Form the sector. Then, with this triangle, we are able to determine the associated angle. To determine the center of the green circle, we just have to make a cross on top of the circle. With the center point, we connect the lines and we will obtain another circle. Since this is the center of the square and we cut into four equal parts which means that the angle here is 90 degree and given by the question the side length of the square is 20 centimeter if let's say we want to determine the length of this and this line we can apply Pythagoras theorem since this is square and we cut into half since this is the center point which means that the length here must be exactly the same let's say x units so we have the longer size 20 square is equal to the sum of squares of the remaining side which is x square plus x square so we have 20 square is equal to 2x square so x is equal to, you just have to make use of calculator, 20 square times move forward become divide. And we take square root. And we will have n set 2. So we replace x with the value n set 2. And now we should remove the line that not evolve in any sectors so that is not that messy since we are not using what we need is only the sector but we need triangle so we need this line and given by the question the radius of this quarter circle is 20 centimeters so this is the radius of the quarter circle which means that this is 20 and the length of the the side length of the square is 20 so which means that the diameter of the green circle is 20 then the half diameter or in other words the radius of the green circle is half of 20 which is 10 with the known size let's say we have a b and c with the angle A, we can apply cosine rule. According to cosine rule, A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2 times of BC times cos A. We just have to substitute the values into this equation and we are able to determine the angle A. So we have 10 square equal to 10 set to the whole thing square plus 20 square minus 2 10 set 2 times 20 times cos a we rearrange the equation and solve for a so a is cosine 
minus move over plus plus move over minus so we have n set to the whole thing square plus 20 square minus 10 square divided by times move over should be divided so that's why we divide here to 10 set 2 times 20 and we press calculator and we should obtain the anger so we have our cos 10 set 2 square plus 20 square minus 10 square the whole thing we over 2 times 10 set 2 and we times 20 and we should obtain the anger if let's say we want to have accurate answer then we just have to store according to the unknown that we use the letter that we use since it's a so we store in a so already store then here we just have to write the value that rounded up to three decimal places so eight eight six degree remember when we make use of the anger of the formula we should use radian format so we have to remember to convert later with angle A, we are not able to determine the area of this segment. Let's say the area of the segment is x cm squared. So x is equal to, we apply the formula, 1 over 2 r squared. r is the radius, which is 20 squared times theta in terms of radian. So we have to convert degree into radian by times pi over 180 degree this is a but what we need is the angle here since this is identical so which means that we have 2a over 180 degree times pi minus sine 2a and we just have to press calculator so we have 1 over 2 times 20 square times 2 a divided by 180 degree times pi minus sine 2 a and we should obtain 29.319 dm squared we labor in x then we store in x so we can produce accurate answer when we recall and now we should proceed to determine the segment of the green circle to determine the segment of the green circle which means that we need the angle here let's say the angle here is b degree unfortunately we don't have the information here so we have to make use of the triangle here to obtain the angle to determine the triangle which means that we must have all the three sides known so this is 10 units here must be 10 units as well since this is the radius of the green circle and this is 20 and this is also 20 since this is a radius of the quarter circle with two sides known and given to a then we are able to obtain the remaining side so apply the cosine rule we have let's say the remaining side is b units so p square is equal to adjacent side plus 20 square plus 20 square minus 2 times 20 times 20 and we have cos a and a so 2a so which means that we have 20 square plus 20 square minus 2 times 20 times 20 cos 2a so our answer is very accurate since we use the value that we store so we have 350 so b squared is 350 which means that b is equal to square root of 350 so what we need to do to determine the angle b 
you just have to make use of the same method that we have previously. So our course, we take the adjacent side. So adjacent side now is 10 and 10. So we have 10 square plus 10 square minus the remaining side. So what we need is B square. So which means that 350 or square root of 350 square divided by 2 times 10 times 10. And we press calculator, we should obtain shift cos 10 square plus 10 square minus 350. Then we divide 2 times 10 times 10. And we obtain 138.590 degree. And we store this value in B as we take note here. So with the angle B, we are now able to determine the sector. So let's say the shaded region is equal to Y centimeter square. So which means that X plus Y is actually the segment of this green circle. So by using the formula, we have 1 over 2 R radius is 10, so 10 square times angle B. Since this is complete angle, we don't have to times 2 like here. So B divide 180 degree times pi minus sine B. So we should have 1 over 2 times 10 square times alpha b divide 180 degree times i b minus sine angle b and we obtain 87.871 cm square for the shaded region or y is equal to the area of the segment of the circle, green circle, that we obtain minus the area that we obtained previously for the segment of the red circle, which is x that we store. Then we have 58.553 centimeters square. And we Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.